There appears to be a more cautious mood here on campus among students, even as the university moves ahead with plans to make changes. Under the watchful eye of campus police, there appeared to be a gradual return to normal. It's a lot more subdued on campus this time around. Um, definitely not as many people in classes as there were last week, uh, which is wild because like the one thing so many people say is that they feel safe at Morgan, especially at night. In addition to stepped up security near buildings like Thurgood Marshall Hall, the university has insisted students keep their ID cards on hand at all times. I live in Thurgood Marshall and I need it so that I can get into the building, get into my room, use the elevator, like everything that building. It's a campus-wide commitment designed to protect Morgan's more than 12,000 students from outsiders. I stay in Harper Tubman and I've seen already that they've upped the security and like they started checking bags. When I came back home from the weekend, I remember they went through my whole bag. We are an open campus in an urban environment. The university president wants to go one step further. He revealed a portion of his security plan at a Friday press conference. The goal is to try and limit access to the school's 185 acre campus in Northeast Baltimore. Unfortunately, uh, going forward, Morgan State University will have to look at closing even more significantly ingress and egress opportunities to the campus. But that hasn't stopped Morgan students from coming up with their own security measures. You still feel it on campus though, people are being more safe, they're moving in groups. If anything, they're on the phone with somebody if they're by themselves. The university is still in the process of releasing a more detailed plan on how it will go about limiting access to campus. On the campus of Morgan State University, Tim Tutin, WBAL, TV 11 News.